first tonight, it is video that's now viral, showing a Charlotte Mecklenburg police officer striking a woman several times during an arrest. The struggle between the suspect and officers only shows what happened after things escalated during an arrest for marijuana possession. Investigators say the woman's suspect hit an officer in the face, then resisted. Well, tonight we have new video showing earlier points in the incident. It does not show the initial contact between officers and the two suspects, but it shows police holding the man and woman on the ground, the woman telling officers to get off her, and more investigators arriving to the heated scene. CMPD Chief Johnny Jennings is answering questions from the community about the incident. Thanks for joining us here on Queen City News at 10. I'm Brian Blakely, and Queen City News anchor Morgan Francis joins me now. And Morgan, some community members want to see the body camera video, but that could be months before it's released. Correct, and Chief Johnny Jennings says that it's not in his control. They have to petition the court to allow its release, a process they already started. Jennings reviewed the body camera footage, though, and provides context to what we see in it. We also asked a former CMPD officer if what we see in the video aligns with the department's training. No matter what way you slice it, it's not an easy video to watch. An officer is seen hitting a woman with a closed fist numerous times. What we don't see is Charlotte Mecklenburg Police body camera video showing what led up to this confrontation. But here's what officials are saying about it. They say on Monday, an officer at South Tryon Street and West Arrowwood Road noticed Christina Pierre and Anthony Lee smoking marijuana at a bus stop. While police tried to arrest Lee, Pierre reportedly punched an officer in the face and resisted arrest. Chief Johnny Jennings counted seven knee strikes and 10 fist blows by officers to gain Pierre's compliance. A strike to the peroneal nerve is if someone is has their hands underneath them and we're trying to activate an arrest, uh, that strike to the peroneal nerve, the hope is that it will cause that distraction or pain compliance that will get them to put their hands behind their back. Attorney Walter Bowers served in the military for five years and was a CMPD officer for seven. Bowers recognized the tactic immediately. You're just looking at that without any context. It does not look good at all. Uh, but um, certainly that would be in alignment with training if that was what was actually ha happening. After backup got to the scene, officers say they found a 9 millimeter handgun in Lee's bag. Still, the video has raised questions about police response and use of force for marijuana possession. The officers could have got harmed. The citizens could have got harmed behind something that's, you know, a misdemeanor at best. What is our response to marijuana use? I don't think anyone in the community wants to have where we're open, openly smoking, letting people smoke marijuana. And, and on top of that, you're looking at uh, an individual who was about to get on a city bus with a gun in his bag. Uh, so uh, we, we always talk about cat safety and things like that. The chief says within a one mile radius of that incident, they've seen 194 violent crimes in the last three years and emphasized a proactive approach to curbing drug use. Bowers says de-escalation is always the goal in those approaches. Maybe instead of a arrest, it's a citation or something of that nature, or maybe it's a warning. The questions that citizens will have for law enforcement is always what caused the situation to escalate. While the department awaits word from the court to release the body camera footage of the incident, Chief Jennings pleaded with the public to be patient. I've been in those exact situations. I've been in struggles with men, women, white, black. These are difficult situations and all I ask is we continue to let this investigation internally play out. Pierre is charged with assault on a government official, resisting, delaying, obstructing, and simple marijuana possession. Lee has been charged with carrying a concealed firearm, simple marijuana possession, and resisting arrest. That officer seen striking Pierre in the video is Vincent Pistone. According to police commanders, he's been temporarily reassigned from patrol duties after conversations with community leaders and due to safety concerns. Brian.